software software are usually classified into commercial software or open source software commercial software just as the name implies it means you need to purchase a license for you to be able to use the software and notable software in the commercial category uh, ArcGIS, map info global mapper geomedia manifold system and so on then in the open source category here the software is free just as in free water you don't need to purchase any license to use the software and the notable software in this category are QGIS, grass saga Elwis, geoda and so on and so forth so in each of the category the notable or the leading gis software are arcgis and then the quantum or the qgis under the open source so in this video series we are going to take a look at the leading gis software in each of the category we are going to learn both arcgis of the commercial category and qgis of the open source category simultaneously we are going to see how basic gis tax have been carried out in both arcgis and the qgis so let's start with how to obtain a copy of the software to get a copy of the software usually you go to their official website so a simple google search for arcgis and qgis will lead you to the official page the feature page of arcgis is esri.com and esri are the manufacturers or the developers of the arcgis software for qgis you need to go to qgis.org and that is where you find the official page for qgis and on that page you should be able to download a version of the QGIS software for free. Some notable links I would like you to check are the Wikipedia pages for the respective GIS software. So if you check the Wikipedia page for ArcGIS, you will get to learn more about the software, including the versions and the history of the software. As you can see, the software is written in C++ for ArcGIS. And if you check that of QGIS, the software is written in C++ and Python. So I strongly recommend that you go through the Wikipedia pages to learn more about the software. Assuming you have obtained the copy of both ArcGIS and QGIS and installed on your system, what you usually have is a collection of suit of other software just like microsoft office when you install a microsoft office you usually have not just the microsoft word but you have microsoft publisher microsoft excel microsoft, microsoft powerpoint and others so the same thing is applicable to arcgis and qgis when you install when you install arcgis you have Arc Globe, Arc Map, Arc Scene, and others. So the one we are interested in is the Arc Map. So you look for Arc Map on your PC and open it. And in the case of QGIS, you have Grass, OSGOW4 Shell, QGIS Browser, QGIS Desktop, QT Designer, and so on. So the one we are really interested in is the QGIS desktop. So open QGIS desktop for QGIS and then open ArcMap for ArcGIS. So when you open ArcMap, the interface look like this. That is ArcGIS on the desktop. And when you open QGIS, its interface looks like this, which is the QGIS desktop. So as you can see, there is great similarity between the two. 
both software have the menu bar the title bar the tools bar a blank area and a small blank area to the left so these are the two great gis software in both open source and uh, commercial category let me put the software side by side so that we can compare and contrast some of the features so here we have ArcMap for ArcGIS on the left and we have QGIS on the right so from the top the two software have the title bar where we have the maximize minimize and the close buttons so if you take a look at that of ArcGIS is still the same thing then the next there is the menus bar the menu toolbar contain links to different part of the software and in the case of QGIS we have the project menu edit menu view menu layer etc then in the case of ArcMap, instead of having project menu, we have the file menu. So that is one great notable difference between the two software. Project menu for Arc for QGIS and then file menu for ArcMap or ArcGIS. Then just below the menu bar, we have the tools bar. The tools are other links to different part of the software instead of most of the tools bar command are available in the menu bar so you can move the toolbar to different interface of the software for example you can position the toolbar on the left hand left hand side or on the right hand side the same thing for qgis you can move the toolbar to the left hand side or to the right hand side so the position of the toolbar actually depends on personal preference of individual using the software so just for your information you can locate the toolbar and disable them from each of the software to hide and show some of these toolbars in QGIS you can do that by going to view from the view menu you go to toolbars and here you can see that we have different toolbars checked so all these toolbars that are checked are those that are displayed on the interface for example if i want to show this toolbar database toolbar i'll just click on it to check it and it will appear on the interface if I want to disable it, I'll go back to view menu, toolbars, and then uncheck it, and it will disappear from the interface. So in the case of ArcGIS, if I want to show or hide some of the toolbars, I will need to go to customize menu, then I will go to toolbars. So here I have all the toolbars that are available in ArcGIS or ArcMap. So if I want to enable or show the GPS toolbar, for example, I will just click on it to check it and it will appear on the interface. And I can drag and position it wherever I want. If I want to hide it, I can just drag it and release it on the interface and then click on close to hide the toolbar. So that is how to show or hide the various toolbars in both ArcMap and QGIS. So the next is this blank white area in the software. This white area to the right hand side is called the map canvas. It is available in both QGIS and the ArcGIS. So this is where you usually display the map you are working on 
in the in the GIS environment. So to the left in the ArcMap, it is called table of content, while in QGIS it is called layers panel. So this is actually the area where you have different layers of your map. The maps that are displayed on the map canvas, the layers will be displayed or can be controlled on the layer panel or on the table of content. Later on, we are going to see more or learn more about the table of content in ArcMap and then the layers panel in QGIS. So apart from this panel, there are other panels you can enable on the interface of the software. So I'm going to go over a few of them in both in both ArcGIS and uh, QGIS and try to compare each and every one of them. So as you can see, I told you that in ArcMap we have table of content and the equivalent in QGIS is layers panel. So another panel or dialogue we can have on the interface. In the case of ArcMap, it is called the catalog. The catalog can be accessed on the toolbar by clicking on this button. And this is how the catalog is. You can also drag it and position it wherever you want on the interface, just like the toolbar. So, if you cannot find this particular icon on your toolbar, you can locate the catalog by going to the Windows menu and then you can see the catalog option there. When you click on it, it will open up the catalog dialog box. So, the equivalent of the catalog panel in QGIS is called browser panel. And you can locate the browser panel by going to the view menu and then go to panel option then on that panel option you can see the browser panel so you open it you have it just like that you can also drag it and position it wherever you want on the interface so the browser panel in QGIS is equivalent to the catalog in ArcGIS so another panel we can talk about here is is the Arc Toolbox. So the Arc Toolbox can be located by going to the GeoProcess menu and there you can see the Arc Toolbox in your ArcGIS. So you click on it, it will open up the Arc Toolbox just like that. So the equivalent of the Arc Toolbox in QGIS is called the processing toolbox and the processing toolbox is found under the processing menu and there you can see the toolbox so the next panel we're going to take a look at is the python window in arcgis python window can be accessed by clicking on this particular icon here python and then it will open up the Python prompt where you can type in Python scripts. For example, you can type in print hello world and then it will run the script for me just like that. So in ArcGIS, this particular panel is called Python window. Then if you go back to QGIS, the python window equivalent is called the python console and you can locate it by going to plugins and then python console when you open it the console will open up just like that and then you can type in python scripts for example if you type in print hello world and run it it will print out the script just like that the icon 
for the Python console is also available on the tools bar. So the Python console in ArcGIS, the Python console in QGIS is known as Python window in the ArcMap. You can also locate the Python window in ArcMap by going to Geoprocessing menu and then Python. So the next panel we are going to take a look at is the mod model builder. In ArcMap, the model builder is found under the geoprocessing menu and then models builder. So the equivalent of the model builder in QGIS is called the graphical modeler and it is found under the processing menu and then the graphical modeler and this is this is it so another panel is the adding manager in Q, in QGI, in ArcGIS in ArcGIS we have the adding manager while in QGIS it is called the plugin manager or manage plugin so the adding manager is found under the customize menu in ArcMap and then here you have the adding manager then the equivalent in QGIS is called the plugin manager and you can access it by going to plugins manage and install plugins so this particular panel allows you to add extra or additional functionality to each of the software with this i have said enough about the interfaces in the next video i'm going to move on to the next discussion till then have a nice day